matcha, an iconic symbol at the center of traditional Japanese culture. Today, Japan proudly shares this revered green tea with the food culture of the world. The custom of drinking tea is said to have started in China around 2700 BC. It was first introduced to a Japanese envoy of priests sent to China during the Tang Dynasty. By the end of the 16th century, a new style of tea ceremony was created by tea master Sen Norikyu. He was influential in establishing the tradition and etiquette of Wabi Cha. In recent years, as more people become health conscious, Japanese foods have gained popularity around the world. Matcha is said to be especially beneficial for the health, since the tea leaves are fully consumed. It would be no exaggeration to say that the history of green tea around the world is in fact the history of Itoen. We are proud to share that Itoen exports the largest volume of Japanese green tea globally. Matcha is a beautiful green tea powder. Fresh from the field, tea leaves are dried without being kneaded and finely ground into a fine powder, all without losing their vibrant color. Matcha must have a fresh aroma, rich taste, and subtle bitterness, and retain its bright green color. A high level of technique and experience is required to make the treasured matcha powder. At Itoen, we produce matcha for various uses, applying our world leading expertise throughout the entire process. From the cultivation of the land to the final processing of the matcha, we are committed to the refinement of quality. Let us take a look at how Itoen's matcha is made, showing the entire process step by step. Matcha production is divided into four stages. The first is cultivation of the tea fields. In the second stage, the harvested tea leaves are used to create crude tea called tencha aracha. In the third stage, tencha aracha is finished to produce tencha. Finally, the tencha tea is finely milled. In our tea fields, more than 20 days before we pick the tea leaves, we cover all the tea trees with shade such as reed screens, straw, or black sheets to block more than 98% of the sunlight. When the tea trees try to photosynthesize with smaller amounts of sunlight, they produce thinner, softer, and larger tea leaves. The green color of the tea leaves becomes brighter and their amino acid content increases, resulting in a taste rich in umami. This also provides a unique aroma. The tea leaves are picked in the middle of May when the soft shoots are moderately firm. Leaves are carefully hand picked one by one. This is the process for making Tencha Aracha. Carefully picked raw leaves are put into a special container. There they are subjected to streams of air and kept humid to prevent them from degrading. Next comes the steaming process. To halt the oxidizing and fermentation action of enzymes on the leaves and to preserve the green color and remove the grassy odor, the tea leaves are treated with non pressurized steam. The steaming process is said to be the key determinant in the tea's flavor, aroma, and color. It is important to ensure that the leaves are steamed evenly. Next, the tea leaves are scattered and cooled. Tea leaves are cooled down immediately after steaming because their taste, color, and aroma will deteriorate if they are left hot. The box shaped machine that is used. Stands about 7 meters high and is covered with a net. Air is blown from under the leaves to cool them down. During the cooling process, 
Condensation is eliminated and leaves that were stuck together are separated as they rise and scatter. Then, the tea leaves are sent to a dry kiln to give them added aroma created by heat. At this point, the flavor is harmonized as the leaves dry. Tea leaves are dried in a brick furnace for about 30 minutes at a high temperature of 170 to 200 degrees centigrade. The leaves are dried quickly at the bottom of the 3 to 5 layer conveyor. They are then blown up to the upper layer and dried slowly as they are moved to the lower layers. The fresh parts of the tea leaves become slightly dry during this process, but the hard to dry stems still contain quite a bit of water. The leaves and stems are separated using this vine cutter. After the vine cutting process and before completing the crude tea, they are dried again and separated by streams of air for finishing. The leaves are blended to ensure a level of uniformity among the leaves in the same lot. They are then packed in dedicated bags called daikai and sent to the next finishing process. Crude tea, or tensha aracha, is made by performing these seven steps. The tensha aracha goes through rigorous quality checks before it is accepted by the finishing factory. Only tea that is judged to be acceptable is put on the line for finishing. First, crude tea is cut into pieces of uniform size. Next, a pneumatic separator is used to sort the leaves. The high-quality leaves are blown away because they are light in weight, while heavy leaves containing stems and leaf veins fall closer to the machine. The heavy leaves are sent to the cutting machine again and sorted repeatedly. Next process is drying. The tea is dried with flame to reduce the water content to 3%, a level at which the tea can withstand long-term storage. This process also produces the unique aroma of matcha by heating the green leaves to eliminate their green leafy flavor. The finished tea leaves are then selected according to the product specifications and blended. Blended tea leaves are kept in a large refrigerated warehouse while they wait to be milled. To mature the tea leaves and enrich their taste and flavor, the temperature inside the warehouse is kept between 0 and minus 10 degrees centigrade. Finally comes the milling process. Refined tea is put into a millstone little by little at a constant rate, with 40 to 50 grams of matcha being made per hour. When milled in an environment that is not exposed to ultraviolet rays and where the temperature is kept at 20 degrees centigrade and the humidity level at 40%, the refined tea is reduced to fine particles of matcha. A millstone is said to be the best instrument as it finely grinds the matcha into fine microparticles. This gives it a mellow and smooth sensation upon the mouth. Another advantage of a millstone is that it does not produce much frictional heat, ensuring that the color and flavor of the tea remain unaffected. The maintenance of the millstone, a process referred to as metate, is important for ensuring the high quality of matcha. A millstone receives regular maintenance by a metate shi, who specializes in performing metate. For commercial use, machines such as ball mills and jet mills are generally used. One of these machines can produce 100 to 300 kilograms of matcha per day. Hitoen has introduced new cutting-edge milling machines known as hammer mills. Adjusting the rotating speed of the grinding rotor and the classifying rotor can easily control the product size. It can mill over 300 kilograms per day. Hammer mills greatly improve our matcha production capacity. At Itoen, 
we select the best milling method that fits the specific purpose or need. The matcha that is made through this meticulous and painstaking process is carefully packed in accordance with the product specifications. The packing is performed in a clean and hygienic room that is isolated from the outside air. Products go through a metal detector and a rigorous inspection with an X-ray system. For sterilizing products, we use HTST sterilizers. High-pressure steam is used to sterilize the Tencha Aracha. Of course, we are constantly checking for any detection of radioactive material. We use the latest inspection machines such as Germanium Semiconductor Detector. We take a sample from each lot and also conduct a bacteriological test. Numerous tests are conducted to ensure the safety and quality of our products, such as measuring the particle size, analyzing the components, and checking for pesticide residue. We at Itoen thoroughly control the high quality of our products by constantly inspecting and testing all products. In addition, the Itoen Shizuoka Sagara plant and subcontracted plants are taking measures to obtain international certifications such as ISO 9001, ISO 14001, and FSSC 22000, as well as the Organic JAS certification, NOP certification, and other important certifications in order to establish a system for supplying matcha worldwide. Our concept in product development of our expansive line is natural, healthy, safe, delicious, and well-designed. All of our actions are based on these five concepts. Hitoen's sales and export capabilities are supported by world-leading production and manufacturing technologies, quality control, and safety management. We are also proud of our expansive line of products for every occasion. In 2015, Itoen established the Itoen Matcha Green Tea brand as a part of its global strategy and released it simultaneously in Singapore, the United States, Australia, and other countries. Moving forward, we will continue to develop products using matcha, steadily introducing them to the global market. At Itoen, we will continue to work together through the goodness of green tea and matcha products to bring about a healthy and nutritious lifestyle that enhances the lives of people all over the world. <laughs>